Hello everyone, here we are at the Australian Computer Museum in Sydney and today we've got an interesting Nintendo Switch uh, game slash, I don't know, toy craft activity? Nintendo Labo. So this was something that came out quite early in the Switch's lifetime and it's uh, not been made for quite a while. I was really lucky to get this one which is unused, second hand. And the general idea is that it comes with all of these pre-cut cardboard pieces and you can make little things like a piano, fishing line, and then you put the switch and the controllers into these things and run the included games and it becomes like a controller for those games. So you're sort of making your own controller. Um, now I suspect that these probably didn't last very long once kids were using them which is probably why there's not that many of them around anymore so we're going to build these very carefully and then um, i might have a look at if we can do something to make them a bit more durable so that people can use them in the museum i don't know maybe laminate them or maybe try to you know, replicate them in something tougher so yeah let's have a look all right let's have a look inside the box um, this has been opened, but as far as I can tell, it's still complete. And here we go. So, getting started. This nice little insert here. And we've got a Switch game card. So it looks like we'll put this in, and then it says build with video instructions. So the instructions will actually be on the screen. We've got a box of various bits and pieces, rubber bands, bits of string, little grommets and things, kind of stickers. And then I guess the main attraction is all of these cardboard sheets. So these have been sort of pre-stamped so that you can push them out and make something. So we're going to start by making whatever this is, I guess. So let's have a look software. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I thought this was really quite innovative when it first showed up. Oh, here we go. That's nice. Let's start with make. Okay. A button to go forwards. Oh, I can hold the other. To make the Joy-Con holder. That's pretty useful. Okay. <clears throat> I actually really love doing this. I buy a lot of those pre-made, uh, pre-cut wood kits. It's always fun to build. There's something really satisfying just about putting these little bits out. You know. Press the instructions before I start popping things out. Okay. This heap sheet A is still safer in the box, of course. You can build the toy con in handheld mode using the touch screen. Oh, because I'm going to be using this thing. Okay. Let's see how we go. The screen on this is not very good, so I'm going to leave it plugged in until I absolutely have to. So the camera doesn't go. Let's get building. Okay, fold it on the fold lines. Yep. I like this music it reminds me of Toe Jam at Earl, you know, it's an old uh, Mega Drive game. It's very funky music. Okay, fold the folds. Alright, let's have a go. Fold the folds. Another bit to pop out.
All right, we've got all our foldy folds. This part is called a tab. So the tab will be opening, okay. complete. Oh, it's like it was made for it. Of course, of course it was. Yes, I can see the button. The RC car, well, okay. <clears throat> well, time 10 minutes. Okay, well, I think we'll just go through a simple one like this. Okay, so this one, interestingly, we've only used one little piece of this. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with the rest. Because now, RC car is all on this sheet, okay. Car, two steps, okay. Probably handle that. <coughs> two, <to one. coughs> these two pieces, okay. We've got our antenna. And I guess this is the main body of the thing. Check where the fold lines are. <clears throat> yeah, this is quite fun. I, <clears throat> I think I'll bring my kids in one day to build some of these things. Thought about actually keeping this at home, but then I just thought we don't need more stuff on the floor, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, I know. You know, having having two two very active children. I can see this is really, it's really enjoyable to do, but I can see how easy it would be to break it. <coughs> I'm wondering if people started returning them when they broke. Now attach the sides of the car.
Uh -huh. <coughs> now we're gonna make the antenna. <coughs> Press the pivot side first down, hold up with the tabs. It seems simple enough. And <coughs> okay. Let's attach the ah, uh, okay, well we're gonna have to. TV mode. Now this has a little stand on it, I think. First, let's touch this in. Yeah, so the screen is not very good on this switch. Um, we actually do have a replacement screen, although um, I'm not confident enough to install it. So if any other members want to come in and change the screen on Nintendo Switch, we've got all the parts. Okay. Yes, the antenna is all done. Okay. And we've got to put these little guys into the thing. Oh, okay. So. All right. Oh, that's quite clever. Look, they've got a little thing to join on. Done. Okay, we'll take this one out of its little box, I guess. And the right Joy-Con. <coughs> oh, there we go, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, and now it balances. A very weird um sort of burn-in effect on this screen. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Alright. Oh, so fun. RC car is ready. Hey now. Okay, I think it'll be safe we put this one on the floor. Smooth flat surface, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so, what I'm doing is um, when I press this, the right controller buzzes, left controller buzzes. What's this hurts thing? Can I turn this up and down or something? Oh, okay, right. Oh, right, I can somehow... Okay, that's not really anything. What if I turn it up? Oh, okay, so there's kind of a resonant frequency, I guess, where it starts to move. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I supposed to be battling? I don't really want that. It's, it's kind of, I mean, it's interesting in that it's not really like a game, is it? You know, it's not much of a computer game, but it's, I don't know, I guess you could call it an educational toy. Yeah. It's hours of fun, unless you've got a low battery, <laughs> because you're constantly running the vibration waves. Okay, so look, if you have um, a brand new Switch, and the controllers don't have clapped out batteries, then it probably runs a bit longer. Yeah, this is a um, very interesting little thing. Huh? Oh, two, you could connect two sets of controllers. Well, we, we can't do that, so let's not worry about that. So you could have two of these things, although you'd have to have two of these whole sets, wouldn't you? So you have to buy two sets, but you only have one switch, I guess. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't really know how much the Lavo system was when it came out. I paid 50 bucks for it second hand. I can't imagine it was that cheap because it's quite a big box with a lot of stuff in it. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, it's just a bunch of cardboard. So it's that thing again of, you know, like, I just don't know how well it would have sold if people have seen the value in it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a fun thing, but then... <clears throat> Alright, we've got a little off switch here, it's a bit hard to see. It's a snap. Okay, I don't know what that means. So, back button. Close, okay. There we go, we've built our first Nintendo Labo thing. <clears throat> so yeah, this is pretty fun. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to save the other projects for another day. Maybe get um, get my kids in, or wait until some other kids are visiting or something. But yeah, it's, you know, <clears throat> it's one of those things where I can sort of see why it probably didn't sell that well, but on the other hand, I can see why you'd want one, because I think it is pretty cool. So yeah, if you want to have a look, then come into the museum, and we'll have this uh, available for people to play with. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.